normally I just stream my missions, but some people might be curious about the strategic lair. So if you want, you can always skip ahead in this video until you find the next mission. But for now, what we got going on, we got a lot of construction going on. I got a power relay being built, the infirmary, the proving ground, and digging out the shielding power coil. Uh, in addition to that, we are researching plated armor. We've got a supply drop in 20 days, and behind enemy lines, covert op, which is the first in the Hunt the Chosen. So that'll be hopefully not ambushed. Now the interesting thing about the <clears throat> plated armor, I've never really purchased from the black market a rushed production, but I want to cut the time in half on that. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. That is if it's still on the market. It was a couple days ago in game time. Market is open. Rush research plated armor. <clears throat> so it's supposed to cut the research time in half, which currently is at 18 days. Market is open. So it should take it down to nine days. That is not nine days. <laughs> it cut it down by 20 to 30, that's 30%. That is not half. Firaxis is bad at math. Now, this explains why when it gives us 99% hit chances we miss, why that happens so often. Dear for Axis, half of 20 is not 14, but whatever, at least it cut down the time. Avenger now we're going to go pick up our supply course. drop that was literally just dropped right before that council mission. And more Doom Track. Commander, if we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project, we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. <clears throat> so my plan about the Avatar project currently... I will attack the Black Site once I have a full complement of second tier weapons. And the uh, plated armor. And hopefully a few more lieutenants or higher. Oh, that's a nice one to get. Um, after that... I'll try to make contact with this region and go attack that facility, which will probably have the Viper King. It does have a <clears throat> an alien ruler present. This one does not. It's also two spaces away. Or maybe it's not. No, it's three spaces away. That's weird. I don't know why I can't uh, connect to Southern Asia from East Africa at the moment. Weird. So I take one, two, that's three away, or it's just one away. This, so that's the one I will try to build my resistance network towards. I'm not going <coughs> to waste money building the towers to get greater resolve. It's not very useful. I'd rather never send a wounded person to combat if I can. But this one, I will definitely try to get um, it's nice to be able to retrain, to train a rookie directly to sergeant. Power relay now operational. All right, so we got enough power, and I have a free engineer. So, put my free engineer into there to speed up the dig. What I'm thinking of building there is either probably going to build the proving ground first. Next, I want to build after that, or sorry, not the proving ground, the uh, resistance network. Proving ground's already being built. Then, either there or there adjacent, I want to build a psionic warfare center because I usually never really have um, psionics until the end of the game. I want to try to go through this campaign. And the nice, they weren't ambushed. Together we have 
learned even more about the Chosen that pursue you, Commander. We are bound by a common enemy, and together we grow strong. If there are orders you would have us follow, Commander, tell us what must be done. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. <clears throat> now what I said earlier about weapon upgrades, I want to make sure... Okay, he has the gun. Oh yeah, why am I thinking about that? You need to have a real gun. Magnetic rifle, you idiot. There you go. What else was it? Okay. He yes, is upgraded. So what should I do next? That is a nice one to have. So far I've lucked out this campaign and everybody has gone to bleed out. This is increases it even more. I could also use some more supplies. Because I'm going to need it to purchase that armor when it's done. That's what I'm going to do. First, I want to see if that dark event is still in effect. Oh, okay, so the ambush on every mission is not in effect anymore. If your newfound understanding will bring us closer to a decisive ending, then I welcome your attempts to find me. We've constructed the ring facility. Shut commander. up, Bradford. I miss it. I love it. I'm in the ring right now. With the resistance. Bradford the moron. Uh, okay, let's see. Who would I like to give a health to? Variable is my only technical so far. He has also bled out almost twice. So I think he he's he deserves some health. And Mjolnir will not lower they gotta be level two bond, so I'm actually gonna send actually no I got a Oh wait, there's no chance of an ambush. I can send anybody. So since I can send anybody, I'm going to send one of my lower ranked guys. Just get him experience. I'll send Stag. It'll be a CIA mission. A few of you will get that reference. If there's a chance of an ambush, I try to send concealment classes like Shinobi or Reaper. Okay, so we got that going on. Proving ground will be ready in four days. Finish picking up the supplies. I also believe at any moment there will be a retaliation strike too, so... Supplies. Let's go get those supplies. I just want to get supplies up so I can uh, purchase the armor upgrade when it's finished. Plus, radio towers is needed in the future. The proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the skull jack. Not ready to do that yet. Oh, 
I am contemplating building the uh, bolt caster though. They're nice with rangers since that uh, light them up makes where the first shot doesn't end the turn. The big disadvantage of the bolt caster is the one one shot magazine, but Ranger can shoot and reload on the same turn as long as he doesn't move. I'm gonna do it. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Okay, so it'll take four days. I don't know if I want to build a spark. I just don't have that much luck with them. Got five cores. We'll get started right away, Commander. Build that ammo. I'll send word when the project is complete. Save three cores for now. I like get some armor piercing ammo. I like to give that to my snipers. Okay, difficult. Engineer reward. Moderate. Lots of supplies. Ah, oh, man, it's really nice to get an engineer, but automated defenses means it'll be a lot of Max. I hate Max. It's difficult, so it'll be probably four, four or five pods. I don't know what dark event this is countering. Let's recover the item. Sabotage. Huh. don't want the admin troopers to carry more explosives. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the moderate for now. Once I get some more lieutenants... Setting course for the South African sector. Once I get some more lieutenants or, or higher... Actually, you're a lieutenant now. I think you have to be a captain. Can I purchase the next squad size upgrade yet? Requires captain. Um, one thing I should mention, if any of you have not played of long war classes, um, ranger, sharpshooter, specialist, and grenadier in the GTS, guerrilla tactics school, they do nothing because they affect the vanilla classes, which aren't in your campaign if you're using Long War. So just keep in mind, don't waste supplies on those. However, it is still good to get the Templar, Skirmisher, and Reaper abilities, especially Templar. is a really nice one. Starting with one focus already is a nice thing to have. And Parkour is actually a pretty average kind of situational ability, but when you get a lot of money towards the end of the campaign and nothing to spend it on, it's a good ability to go for. the squad before picking who I'm going to send. I know it's kind of weird. And what are we doing again? Sabotage the transporter. So I'm definitely going to send... Because he needs to start gaining some ranks anyway. I'm going to send my Reaper. And is he bonded with anybody yet? No, he hasn't. And 
then I always put a sniper. So I, for some reason, I keep thinking Mjolnir is bonded with variable, but he has no friends. I mean, well, in game terms. That's not sounded wrong. I don't give Falcon the 5% uh, chance that it won't cost anything to shoot. I'll bring my machine gunner. He needs to start getting some mission time as well. Ah, the only thing is, with all the uh, guns upgraded, he only does 4 to 6 damage. You guys, the mag rifles do 5 to 6. I'll have to wait till when I upgrade the machine gun and sniper rifles, I'll, I'll send them out there again. Bring an assault. And... Yeah, I'll bring him as a sh my shinobi. And bring his buddy who he's bonded with as the sniper instead. Now you're seeing how long it takes me to prepare for a mission. I've always I've been starting all these streams just after everything's set up and ready to go. But if you're, unless you're watching this live, you can always skip ahead anyway. Oh yeah, I need a medic. But I don't really have one. This guy still needs to train up. Now, is there a reason I'm not bringing my Templar? Because my Templar is wounded. Sempre's tired. That's kind of running a lot of the B team on this one. Other than uh, Falcon, Mjolnir. <laughs> Might remember Almari, also known as Top Notch. He used to be one of my ski mask red shirt soldiers, but he he reached uh, sergeant, got his code name, so he gets to reveal his face. He's a named character now. Yeah, look at him. Look at that smile on his face. He's happy. It's like, I, I, I'm an A-lister now. And I guess that's... That's how it's going to be. It's a moderate mission. Should be about four. Actually, I'm going to do one other thing. Yes. So, in addition to long war classes, I'm using the long war submachine gun submachine gun mod. Which, even if you don't want to play with long war classes, it's a really good add-on. It's really well balanced. Submachine guns do less damage than a regular rifle of the same tier. So, the assault rifle does three to five damage. Submachine gun does two to four. Um, but their advantage, they also have a range penalty, not as much as the shotgun but about medium range, they start to lose accuracy. Kind of like the shotgun does it on anything past short range. 
But what they do, they also increase mobility by three. So on a Shinobi or in Vanilla, if you're Vanilla Rangers, if you're not using Long War uh, class, some machine guns are nice to have on them to get that extra movement if you're focusing on melee. But I'm not going to bring this worthless submachine gun. I just realized I have enough money now that I can upgrade my submachine guns to the next tier, which is stutter mags. I will do that. So comparing the stutter mag to the magnetic rifle, magnetic rifle is 5 to 7 damage, stutter mag is 4 to 6, so it's one point of damage less, but you get plus 3 um, movement. Now we'd almost think, well if you're only doing one damage less, why don't you just give everybody a stutter mag? The range penalty is pretty significant. It's kind of almost like the pistols as far as if you shoot over 10 tiles, your accuracy drops to where you just can't hit anything. But this guy, he mostly is going to be using his sword and acting as a scout, so I'm going to give it to him. And my combat sim, I have a plus 13 will body shield. I might give the plus 13 will to this guy or my other specialist. I'll wait till he breaks up, but that way they can stay on missions, a lot more missions before they have to rest. So I guess we're ready for this. There we go. We've been picking up unusual readings coming from this area, and our recon team has confirmed that Advent is now operating some sort of massive psionic transmitter nearby. Shen and Tigan agree, if we destroy the transmitter while it's still connected to Advent's network, their operations across this entire region could be crippled. has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. So, reason I brought... The reason I brought my, uh, you. Reaper... The objective is here. They're nice Our on these missions. Indicate that relay is feeding energy directly Shut up, Tygen. Network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt blah, blah, their blah. efforts to isolate the transmitter. Oh, four-man pot. are already in there. Hopefully they activate them and start fighting. Since I already have my Reaper scouting, my Shinobi will probably break concealment pretty early so he can contribute to the firepower. So one downside on the Reaper, they're, they're the best scout in the game. 
but their weapon usually kind of sucks and you're usually keeping them hidden and scouting so you're kind of taking a firepower hit overall So it's kind of dumb. He's flanked. If they walk this way quite a distance, he'll reveal. So I better move everybody else to where they're in uh, Overwatch. Or should I? <laughs> Second guessing myself. Go! 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 Okay, looks safe up to there. Will do. All right. An assaulter, so it's going to get up close. My sniper. Ooh. I doubt there'll be a pod there, so I'm going to risk this. Actually, you shouldn't reveal anyway. It's a nice, nice high ground for him. Nice. Okay. So they're distracted by these guys. Right now. I also have remote start now. This is a very OP ability, really. I really like it. Oh, I could get all of them in it. It does not reveal the Reaper when he does this, either. So, uh... Boom. Enjoy the show! Took out the whole pod. Nice. Got sight lines on a whole bunch of these to buy me turns on the timer once uh, concealment is broken. I'll keep him up here for now, but currently. It's not that great of a place. Might even be better to get him closer and get him up on the bridge or something. Leave him there for now. Roger. Waiting for a target. He can't move without revealing, so. Is God is way out there. I'll try to climb up on the overpass this next turn. I'm actually going to move him up because he'll be concealed there still. Same with him. On my way. Roger that. So 
You know, it's really funny, this Lost World uh, Dark event, Chance of Lost interview mission, is actually... really only really helps me. if the uh, damage fragile to melee works with lost. Looks like it does. Nice. Okay, that answers that question. Cut off the transmitter from their network. We're running out of time. Shut up, Bradford. I don't like your tone. Okay, because he's fragile to melee. Let's just kill this sectoid. We're gonna break concealment now. Tighten up, guys! So, one, two, seven damage. I might not kill him though. I might as well go for it. Nice long distance shot numbers. there. Oh, and I have rapid targeting, so... I'm gonna rapid target him. So it's plus 10 aim for the whole team this turn. That's uh, a four turn cooldown, unlike the regular uh, hollow target that ends the turn. It's a coin flip attack, go for it. Okay, he's wounded him. Hey, and the, uh, the hair trigger already working. Nice. Okay, but now that he's done that... Why can't I not select that guy? Okay, there you go. That 100% shot now. He only has two health. I'll definitely kill him, so now I'll go for it. You gotta go, though. Good night. Who's keeping score? Go for him. 
him because he's closer to my other guys. Nice shot. He's down. Nice shot. Talk it down. And I'm out. Yeah, I gotta reload. Loading. Get already. closer, and you're going to take out Add some time to the timer. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. You Roger. Up. These guys are gonna run up at them. Oh, these guys. That's a just that one guy. I'm trying to decide should I shoot or just put him in Overwatch. I'm gonna go in Overwatch. I think he can catch that lost. I find it a little amusing that I think the uh, Lost World um, set rep said that. Uh, Oh, they better not be allowed to attack him right now. Nice shot. Oh, he does. Or he's just activating. Behind you! Behind you, dude! <laughs> yeah, the Lost World Dark event says that there's a chance of a lost squad. I think. This is much more than a squad. I could have that wrong. I might just say law, chance of lost. And he's going to slap the Marine. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Fine with that. I go where I am needed. Might just have him keep sneaking towards. I have the objective in range. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X-4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. Oh, he can do another remote start. Not in a useful area, though. Kind of closer. So you might have him try to uh, get them with his satchel next turn. But also, he might be able to be the one to plant the C4. Sorry, X4. Man, your accuracy sucks, dude. Hey, he ranked up. Good. You're such a bad shot. Still up. My ammo's running low. That's how it's done. Reloaded. Like snipers. That actually engage from her. I usually when you reload, you don't get to shoot. Oh, I don't. Okay. This is for the hollow targeter. Some more? Ready to engage! 
Roger. Oh, I can just slash it. Save ammo. Buy another turn. Please don't shoot the car. Did he's scared he's gonna make the car start smoking. If he does, he can't move again. So for that reason, I'm just gonna move you up to here. Let's go! Is ever vigilant. If that guy moves towards him, he should shoot him. I'll just use his other attack. Take this out. Get another turn. Slowly but surely, we're crawling towards. So I give him steady weapon. I. It's twit. Ah, okay. It's gain plus twenty aim on your next shot. For some reason, I thought it might be for the whole next turn. That'd be pretty OP. If these guys attack the sectoids, I'll be happy. The sectoids are fragile. Yeah, kill them. Kill them all. Well, that didn't work. Well, at least he didn't attack. Ugh! Go away! This party has enough people. Is there a car next to it, at least? No. Gotta go away. Target is out. Well, it's a coin flip, so go for it. Nice shot. for it. Enemy is still up. I think I'm just gonna Ready? reload. I put him in an overwatch because we got these reinforcements are going to be coming. Roger. Some full cover. Finally. I'm going to arc thrower at this guy. Because well, it only will hit him at a 1 in 4 chance, but if it misses, he'll be disoriented. A disoriented sectoid tight. cannot use his psionic abilities. But since he actually hit him, 
You can't use any abilities. Nice. You know, Overwatch. He has good sight lines on the uh, reinforcements. Oh, it'd be nice if he could hit that guy. Can you throw that claymore? Now he's in a position to assist next turn with cleanup with the claymore on the reinforcements and those guys. Now hopefully the sectoids will focus a lot on the uh, lost. Ah, I hate shield bearers. These guys, shield bearers, are the worst. Our resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. What's up, man? Angle down. Yeah, I didn't get it. He's gonna shoot at my people. No, he's gonna do a double move. Hostiles got me flying! Where did all the lost go? There was a whole bunch of lost over there. Did it just despawn them? It's bullshit. I know there was a bunch of lost over there. you got to be out of ammunition on this one. Okay, at least you got a full magazine. First, get these guys off your ass. How many is that now? Who's keeping score? Okay, they're engaged with them. I don't think they've run away from, uh... guy is a prime candidate for being shred. Get cover, full cover, even though it's by a car. You guys just couldn't be close enough, could you? Yeah! Send them bastards some of our glory! Probably should have fired the grenade last. Because... He could kill this guy in one hit. 
but if I run to there, so much other stuff can get him. That guy's gonna wake up this turn. Why do you have to be out of ammo right now? I'm thinking about running him up, doing a double barrel, just mag dump on him with a double barrel shotgun. Use him to get these guys. Because he's out of ammo anyway. And if I do that, my shinobi can kill him in one hit. This guy, I think, because he's adjacent to an enemy, he's not going to just take a shot at my guy flanked, would he? Oh, but he is my sniper in him. I could do that and have my sniper give him an action th to get to cover then. That's what I'm going to do. Oh my god, I forgot about this guy. He's kind of committed to that, so... God dang it, I forgot about that damn Stun Lancer. so inaccurate, man. These are bruisers, too. They do a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, first... Teamwork. Keep going. Gotta get him out of there. I wonder if he has the range. this guy. He's... Ah, but he has to run through the acid to do it. These guys, I feel like they hit for like four or five. If both of them attack either one of these guys, they could take him out. <sighs> I'm gonna have to try it. Who's keeping score? Those two are engaged to the sectoids, so I don't mind. Finally, flank the Lancer. Come on, dude. Embarrassing. I need ammo. <sighs> I don't want to run him through the acid. But he has a med kit. This guy. Oh, I can't shoot. 
I guess giving him that turn counter is taking a shot. I am really close to... I could take him out. Or I could even take these three out. But it will cause more to come. I feel like they're going to attack the Lost, who are adjacent to them, but... You never know. close to revealing him just to get that an extra gun in the fight. He's going for the flank. No? Wasted both on a move. I'm fine with that. It's like they're panicking from the lost. Uh, I forgot about this guy. Well, he's going to get a hit. This looks a little ugly. He hit a little bit too hard, in my opinion. for the laser sight lost. <laughs> I got your stuff here. That is one five. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Okay, I did actually bring two med kits. Who has the other one? Maybe I did only bring one. Crap. Might have to heal him up. I might just have to extract the assaulter. Have him give us. We need to get a turn on the timer. It's been doing good from that tower, though.
gonna get him out of there. Move him to there. Move already. You can evac. But you can also get a shot. Go for it. If he had got him, then I would shoot that. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, well, no, not got evac. No ammo. Let's go. Get him out of there before he gets slapped by a zombie and dies. Set the charge, it'll reveal it. I believe it's a free action, though, so if I start the next turn with it, I should be able to then run him back to the rest of the group. But I got him in position. So. Comes naturally. Sir! Actually, he's going to overwatch. Right. Waiting for further orders. You're going to get killed, you idiot. <laughs> I'm fine with this. You wasted your turn. Okay, that's a lot. I can't remember, it's a green free action. It shouldn't end his turn placing the charge. risk it. If I do, and then he's stuck there, he's gonna get murdered. Let's see. Let's see how many of these people I can kill. These former people. They're zombies. Zombies aren't people. Back in. have this one, so I can stall for two more turns, try to clear this up for him to set the charge. Oh yeah! Okay, you're loaded up now. Right! I should have actually went up this ladder right here. Get some high ground shots.
it down. Direct hit. Don't want any surprises. <sighs> I wish I could remember. Normally, if they're green, it it's a free action. But I got another turn, so... For now, I'm not going to risk it. Just get up here. My life is in your hands. He can get back there in one action and place the charge again if need be. I see everything. I think maybe we can clear out these lost. And try again on the charge placement. Nice shot, Mjolnir. Target destroyed. this turn or hit this. Oh wow. Why are you so strong? do this because it'll bring another swarm but I've just almost got this cleared but if I don't plant the charge or destroy that this turn but I don't know how I can get rid of these two guys I mean he could get rid of this guy do it I think those are only two oh great he spotted another inside Oh, and another right there! Sorry to set you up, buddy. Oh, okay. Uh, I wish I'd have noticed this before. Let's go. You can run him here and shoot the thing. Okay, so we got another turn. I think it's time for him to reveal himself. Three, four. Eh, he didn't think he should reveal himself yet. actions. How many hit points? He got five. The guy that popped up for a second down there only had two or three hit points, so he's not a bruiser. So he shouldn't hit for more than three damage. Right, what am I doing? I still got another turn. I can take that one out. 
because he can't get line of sight, but he should be able to shoot his charge. Or he could just move over here. Oh, he can even see him from there. I will reposition. Four left. God dang it. Oh, come on, guys. Adjusting sights. Oh, man. No. Getting hit. <sighs> okay, what can my sniper do from there? He can only target one. 58%. Rapid target it. Get the best odds he can. Whatever guy he can kill leaves it the only guy he can see. At least if he gets him, that opens up other opportunities for everybody else. Ugh! I shoot him for f four to six and possibly not kill him, or just slash or five and just do it. Just slash it. We're not picking up any other contact. Okay. Get those charges deployed. Watch my back. Oh, please let him do it as a free action. Please. Oh my God. I'm gonna fail the mission. Because it won't let him place it. It is not a free action. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Okay, there was one more thing to shoot. I've seen somewhere one of these guys had... Oh, you got to be shitting me. There's got to be another transceiver to buy me another turn. But where? Is it one on the bridge? Be kidding me. Why I moved him from there? Last time it only took one action. Why did it take it? Come on, there's where is it? There's gotta be one. All I gotta do is get to where I can shoot one. You can't miss them, it's always a hundred percent to hit. This one? I didn't destroy that one yet, did I? I didn't. Yes, sir. Come on. Thank God. I would have been so salty. We're not picking up any more of those relays. That's all the time we're going that to get. That was the last one. We're going to go. Loading! Hua, I'm on it! Good grief, that was close. 
Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. That transmitter is history. Good work, Commander. Good grief. I, I thought I was going to lose it just off of one turn. I don't understand why uh, the Reaper, he could get there with one with a blue move from the ladder before. But it was a yellow this time. Was he back a step away from the ladder? And I just didn't notice? A reminder to I guess he was. He took that shot. Vigilance is your duty. One tile can make all Failure the difference in this game. Suspicious activity in the vicinity of critical infrastructure areas can lead to detainment and expulsion from city centers. Your cooperation is appreciated. Wow, that was... Well, my uh, Swedish ninja, Shinobi... Oh, I can't remember his name. I'm still learning these FNG's uh, <laughs> nicknames. This guy, he's probably gravely wounded after that. Run, he, ran, he ran through the acid to help his teammates. It's dedication. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing. Yeah, they're both great bet wounded. they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. Okay, got another lieutenant now. Cool under pressure is nice. Since it Overwatch shots can't critically hit, this makes it where they can. Plus he has plus ten aim on him. I believe the aim penalty on an Overwatch shot is twenty. So it kind of cuts the penalty in half. Center mass just makes you do one additional damage. Aggression, you get a higher critical for up to six enemies. Plus five for... I'll go with that, because my rangers go into Overwatch a lot because of Ever Vigilant. You can almost play a drinking game while watching at home and take a drink every time you hear me say Ever Vigilant. Boosted cores are nice in a way. They do one additional damage under grenades. Blue screen is nice. Makes where your flash bangs disorient robots. But I'm going to formidable. Formidable will make him very uh, survivable. All the explosive damage he would take is cut in half. Plus he gets two bonus armor. That they're they're hit points, but they're not hit points. They're kind of like when the uh, shield bearer does his shield ability. It's just two shield hit points. Which means I'm going to edit his appearance. Make him look like he's wearing a blast armor or something. Hello, Commander. Okay, so the hidden dark event we countered was sealed armor, which makes where admin troopers are immune to poison, fire, and acid, and crap like that. And Frank Martinson, the shinobi, is now afraid of the lost. Which is weird, because it was, uh... It's my assault guy, the marine, that got hit by the lost. He just ran through acid. Oh, but yeah, what am I saying? He got hit at the end, too. Yeah, at least my uh, specialist is up. Take revival protocol. Any other level ups? Nope. Let's see if these guys got uh, scars. He got a cheek slash. Ah, uh, it's barely noticeable through the paint. Not bad for running through acid. No scars for Leatherneck. The 1980s United States Marine. <laughs> With the Tom Selleck mustache. There's Mjolnir. 
Okay, you need to look like you're wearing blast armor, man. You're formidable, so I'm going to customize your look. says the Twitch broadcast is resumed. I wonder how much uh, it missed there. I hope it didn't miss the amazing conclusion of that mission. Oh, that would be so disappointing. I'm actually going to go pause. I'm going to end this stream for now. I'll restart in a few few minutes, but I got to see. If it missed 